Okay, today, uh, this is Michael Joshua of uh, Genius Local Marketing. Today, we're going to review Rogue Pet Feed. This is actually a, uh, a provider of a product that I met at a local meetup. So, I wanted to take a look at his website. We went and uh, purchased his product after we had received a sample and our dog really loved it. So, let's take a look at this. The um, looks like the logo itself is the green. The company name is Rogue Pet Feed and Origins is the name of the product. It's actually a dog supplement and our dog just goes crazy over it. So let's take a look at his website and see if there's anything that I can share with, uh, with these guys that might help them in uh, adding some conversions. So what we have, if you take a look on their page, um, Part of the issue that, that I see with the website um, in order to make it convert a little better would be to get a different color background because as you can see the paw prints here, I think this is supposed to be green and this is black and this is orange, but it's really tough to tell those colors with the, uh, the gray behind it. Also, when you hover over some of the words, they disappear into the background. This is, this is really a problem. That's something that whoever designed their website should uh, should look into. If I were going to take a look at this website, I would probably completely redesign it only because I design websites that are AdWords friendly so that AdWords will get you more conversions and this one really is not laid out um, in that way. But in any case, one of the biggest problems is that when you hover over things, words disappear. So that's that's kind of an issue. Now he does have um, you've got a support down here, but if you hover over it, of course it disappears. It's actually going to go to their contact us page, which is a uh, it's a form. That's awesome. So if you want to come, I'm not sure where it's hosted, but it really is responding a little bit slowly here. Okay, so um, the FAQs. This FAQ page is awesome. The um, colors got a video here, and the colors you have no question what this stuff says. You can read it. If you click on one, you get the description. The descriptions are are very well written, so he answers a lot of FAQs right off the bat. So that's awesome. Uh, let's go see if we can get back to the main page again. And then also down here he has a site map, which it, it's very helpful for search engines. It doesn't really necessarily need to help the end user. So the customer doesn't much care about a site map. But, um, the, uh, the search engines love them. And you got to have it if you want to make Google happy. So that's perfect. Now he's also got his email address right here, which is info at roadpetfeed.com. Um, but if you hover over it, it goes black. So the only thing you can do is click it and then it will automatically open your email client. As you see down in the corner where it's opened up the mail to command, it's going to open Outlook or whatever you have on your computer um, or your phone, I suppose, if you're on there. And then it's got a phone number. You could highlight the phone number if you wanted and um, you know copy it somewhere. It's not a click to call, which is really an easy HTML fix. It's so simple to something click to call so he should probably have that done you can't really highlight the email and take a look at it once it disappears it just doesn't show up so I would take a look at that and he has a shop and discover so shop opens up the products now, the only problem here my wife really really struggled with Making a purchase, and I'll tell you part of the problem is when she clicked on it, she wasn't sure where she was going. It took a minute to actually go to the page. Okay, now here's the page. Let's see, it's, uh, he's got a couple of images, and they will scroll over, or you can click the, the image there. In hierarchy, you can just click these arrows, and you can get it. Um, since there's not really much of a difference in the images. I don't know that I would even suggest that he have more than maybe, you know, one of the bag and then these ingredients. But 
since it's not really legible, I don't know that it matters to have that on here. I would think it'd be better if you wanted to give this information to people, put it in a PDF, put it in something they can actually download and look at instead of um, this right here because you can't really read it anyway. Um, one thing, and it's simply a formatting thing that I noticed, is this word right here. This whole phrase is all bolded except for this last S, and that's that's just a nitpicky thing for me. Um, to make sure that everything's formatted the thing. So I would I would get in there and make sure that ends got bolded as well. And I don't like this phrase where it says our origin supplement empowers owners to say F you to the pet food industry and take back control of their pet's health. I get the sentiment. I really do. I don't know that I would on a business website point out that I was suggesting the F bomb to any industry. Even though there are some industries I hate, but I don't know that I would put that there. Um, that's a matter of personal preference. If they want it there, then they can leave it there. I didn't keep my wife from buying it, but quite honestly, she might not have read it because we got a sample and our dog loved it, so she just went to buy it. So let's click the Add to Cart button and see what the purchase experience is like. Uh, it's loading, but it's a little bit slow. Okay, so I have one two pound bag added to my cart. Um, if I want to add more, I can add or subtract, and then I just update the cart. So it should have gone to two, it did. Now, I don't know why the, um, the layout of this button is so that the two is not centered in here. I would ask my coder to fix that. Um, there's really not any reason for that to not be lined up. It looks a little bit, um, because it's a little wonky, it might turn some people off and, and they might not trust the, the website itself. I don't have any coupons. If you had a coupon, you put a coupon code here and then click apply coupon, update the card, and it should give you the discount. Because I am in Texas and I know that uh, this particular product is also sold from Texas, um, I would get charged uh, $4.13 sales tax. Now proceed to checkout. Let's see what happened here. This is where my wife had some real problems because this is what I wanted to point out to, uh, to the guys that have real pet feed. Because it's a great product, but you may be losing some folks on a couple of things here. The... Um, all of the items, if somebody has clicked on it, it looks like, the words go orange. This one you can read. This one you can't read. It's first name. You can't read it unless you highlight it. And people, when they're buying online, you just got to make it as easy as you can for them. If they have to figure out what this box is for, you know, it's, it's kind of screwy for people. So... I would say to make sure that these here will stay white because you're on this dark background. If you're going to stick with this dark background, that's fine. If you're going to do that, you need to make sure that everything is, is legible. Everything can be read. It doesn't disappear. You know, it doesn't fade away once people have clicked on it. I ran through this a little bit earlier. Everything went to orange, and I don't know if it's because I had actually started the purchase process, and so they went to orange instead of white. I'm not really sure. All of this stuff should be static so that it stays very visible. And there's only one way to purchase. Now, I know that there are a lot of companies that use PayPal. I get it. Um, I'm not a big PayPal fan, but I use it on my Shopify stores. Um, I don't. Like PayPal only because of some of the experiences I had with it in years gone by. But if you want to buy here, you proceed to PayPal because you want to use a credit card. You can do that. It is still processed by PayPal. And when you have diehards that just hate them, you can use Stripe. Um, there's there are a number of ones that you can use that it doesn't force people to go through PayPal. But if you go through PayPal, you can just use a credit card. 
what happens is PayPal will allow you to use a credit card, from what I understand, for you know, three to five times without having had a PayPal account. But as soon as you start using that email address over and over and over again, PayPal is going to refuse to let you just use a credit card. And they're going to make you have a PayPal account, even if you don't want to use PayPal itself, even if you want to use a credit card through PayPal they will have you set up that email into the PayPal platform. So one thing that I would suggest, besides taking a look at changing the font color so that they're always visible, maybe um, lightening up the background a little bit so that the colors of the paw prints on the front page actually show up, that would be good. Um, but I would get a credit card processor. Now, the other problem here, is that when this showed up on our credit card statement, when my wife purchased, it came up with the name of eBay, not PayPal, not Rogue Pet Feed. Now, if you want to stick with PayPal, you can certainly get a PayPal Pro account. I have one on my stores. It costs me 30 bucks a month to have a real processor. It's PayPal. All my receipts actually have my store name. It doesn't say eBay, it doesn't say PayPal, it actually says the store name so they know what they bought from. So I would suggest, um, you know, as, as a, a big, 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 big suggestion to get rid of using PayPal as your, your only option and to make sure that PayPal is going to show your store name. Because I have had many people um, back before when I was using just PayPal, I'd have chargebacks coming through because people had no idea what they had purchased through PayPal. Once I got a PayPal Pro account and I could put my store name as where they had purchased from, that didn't happen anymore. So get a processor, you know, it, it might cost you just 30 bucks a month if you use PayPal. It might cost a little bit more, but the, the processing fees are the same just about across the board for all of them. Just pick one and go with something that, uh, that gives a little bit more confidence to your customers. Um, my wife, as a matter of fact, on our stuff, she just talked to me and she told me that she wants to go on the subscription instead of just, she bought the, the two pound bag and she wants to go on the subscription, but she won't do it with PayPal. So I don't know what the fix is for that, but I think, I think you need to have a fix. I really do. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, now that we've gone through all that, um, let's look at let's look at the blog. I know I saw a link for the blog. Let's see if we can find that here. Let's go back to the home page and see. Okay, here we go. So if you click on Discover, there's a blog, the FAQ page, athletes, which I'm sure is going to be a lot of dogs science of the nutrition of this canine supplement, testimonials, satisfied folks, and the about page. And all of these um, are going to give you more information about Rogue Pet Feed. One of the things I wanted to mention is on the blog, it's laid out really nicely. You've got um, some good content here that people will, you know, really like to read. But I would suggest you get some more content. I don't know. I didn't see parts two and three or four. So I don't know if this is a series that you guys you started to put up and then didn't finish. Uh, if you can see here, this is all black. So you can't see stuff. This is all black. So you can't see. This is all black. If you want folks to comment, you want people to engage, um, you need to make it a little bit better and um, although white works on a dark background it's really not the preferred way for um, business websites to look uh, so I would I would reach out if if they were my client I would completely rebuild their their website and I would go with something that worked better with an AdWords campaign so that I could use AdWords to really build up build up my sales but at the very least I think that you guys at Rogue should reach out to your webmaster and have him, um, have him or her take care of getting your uh, your fonts into something that's a little bit more readable. Um, I know that people like this kind of font, and I'm not sure if that's 
Comic Sans, it might be something else. Um, but those kind of fonts are not very well accepted in most business environments. People want stuff that's easy to read. They don't want to look at um, cartoonish type, crayon type print. They want to look at something that's very clean. Like this, this is perfect. So um, at the, now that I have finished all this, um, guys, I hope that this is helpful for you. And I am going to add to the end of this a video of our dog, Zeus, who is a Gordon Setter, we believe. He's a rescue, so we're not really sure what he is. But he kind of looks like he's a Gordon Setter, even though we keep his hair very short. Um, I'm going to put a video of him while he is waiting for my wife to get his food ready because he loves it. And then I'll show another short video at the very end when he is working on his empty bowl, trying to get more, even though there is nothing left. So this product, this is an awesome product. It's a great product. So if you want something to help your animal and give them some, some real supplements, this is, a, this is a way to go. I can't tell you how much my dog loves this stuff. And it really has kind of given him new life and a little bit, uh, a little bit more energy. And everything seems to be working better in, uh, in his system, his digestive system. So I would suggest you check it out. Um, if you want to reach out to the guys over at Rogue, send them an email. See if you can get them to send you a free sample. Um, you know, I would suggest to, to Rogue that once somebody buys it, if, you know, if they'll give you a testimonial, you know, give them two bucks off a, another two pound bag the second time they buy. And that way you can start building up your testimonials because they will help you tremendously. But guys, you have a really good product here and, um, you know, I hope to continue to be doing business with you and we'll see if I can can talk my wife into, you know, popping in for a, a payment on PayPal on the subscribe, the subscription. But if not, um, I've got a PayPal business account and, and I can certainly do it that way. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. And I hope it's helpful. Please feel free to comment, reach out, um, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you the next time I do a review. Hey, thanks for watching this website review. Um, I really enjoy doing these for clients. And if you found this interesting or you think it might help you on your own domain, please uh, reach out to me. You can find a contact email on uh, GeniusLocalMarketing.com or through my Facebook or even this YouTube channel. Just reach out and let me know what website you'd like to have reviewed. And I'll see if I can get you queued up to take a look at your website, see if I can give you any uh, tips or tricks that will help you with your conversions. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and tick the little bell so that you know as soon as I upload a new, uh, a new video. And thanks again for coming along.